Have you ever stopped to think about the amazing impact that Jesus has had on all of history and all of society? I want to talk to you about it in your morning cup of inspiration. That single solitary life, a lot of you have read that poem, and you realize that Jesus came into the world as a humble child, and yet he died as a common criminal. But his life during those brief years was so impactful that it continues to go on. You know, most great people, their influence is felt mostly while they're alive. But after they die, it starts to recede and fade off. And when you think about it, the life of Jesus 100 years later, 500 years later, now over 2,000 plus years later, is greater than ever. He is has more followers in more places. And most religions are confined to where they started on the earth into that region. But Jesus' movement is truly worldwide. I've been reading this book by John Ortberg, and I highly recommend it. It's called, Who Is This Man? And you read about the way that Jesus, for example, impacted slavery. Uh, there was a man named William Wilberforce. He was a British politician, and after he converted to Christianity, he had such a drive to devote his life to the abolition of slavery. And he introduced bills that were defeated, but he kept fighting for decades. And they finally outlawed slavery in 1833, one month after Wilberforce's death. But he was such a force in that movement. And what we read in Galatians something that Paul said, which is really quite impactful and mind-boggling. He said in chapter 3 of Galatians, verse 26, For ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. Now in those days, there wasn't an equality among people. There was the very wealthy, the royalty, and they didn't hang around with commoners. And then in verse 28, it says, There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female, for ye are all one in Christ Jesus. And then he had such an impact, started so many movements like the Salvation Army, World Vision, Samaritan's Purse, C Compassion International, the YMCA. You know, these organizations that reached out to the poor and the needy, and Jesus did that. He went to the unwanted. He touched lepers. He healed the sick. And that's why so many hospitals and medical institutions are named after him. He didn't have a great education. In fact, he had no formal education, and yet so many institutions of higher learning were named after him. So in this book, I'm only about 50 pages into it, but it makes you think and makes you realize his impact just as a historical figure. But I want to close by reading a verse in Matthew 27 near the end of that chapter, verse 54, after Jesus died on the cross, there was an earthquake and the veil of the temple was rent in twain from top to bottom. And that was symbolic that Christ was now giving us access to God the Father where we could go directly. In verse 54, it says, Now when the centurion and they that were with him watching Jesus saw the earthquake and those things that were done, they feared greatly saying, Truly, this was the Son of God. And we know that because of his power to change lives so dramatically. So in answer to the question, who is this man? He was the Son of God. Let his light shine through you today. Be a world changer as a follower of Christ. God bless you. And I'll see you soon for another morning cup of inspiration.